Hey guys, Jamie here, keeping it coy. Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome. I hope I can earn your subscription today. So in today's video, uh, I'm gonna just be sorting some stuff out. Um, haven't decided exactly what I'm doing today, but uh, I will bring you along for the journey as I've got a whole day off, so I wanna get some bits done. Um, the shower, still working an absolute treat. That's been up now for uh, 48 hours, and uh, oh, let me show you. What I did to secure it, uh, you'll see here, I've got a bit of wood, uh, which is L-bracketed onto there, uber tight on top of the, uh, the shower. I can still get the lid off, just, um, which is a bonus, and uh, that just stops it wobbling, basically, just stops it, stops it rocking. That can't now be blown over in any storms. Um, I'm guessing the media uh, was a bit proteiny or foamy or whatnot. We've got to uh, let me spin it around. Got a big old pile of bubbles under there. Um, but uh, yeah, again, as I said uh, the other day, because of all the rain we keep having, I keep having to drain the pond down because the uh, skimmer is not skimming the exact top of the surface. So uh, I'll be draining that again. In a little while the fishes are all looking uber fantastic the one advantage of this cold uh, time of year is the sumi really does start to pop on the fish oh look here oh, is mr burnt face look pretty much fully receded got a tiny little bit of might even be cart pox now just that little dot on his nose but, uh, yeah they're all looking absolutely fantastic haven't seen the uh, sorogoy yet this morning uh, to see if he's still got a clamp fin he'll be in there somewhere a little grown show shower he's doing really well not growing an awful lot but Pattern in the colour, absolutely fantastic. Look at that. When that's when that uh, he starts to come out next year with a bit of colour food, oh, he's gonna pop. But yeah, so I will show you what I'm gonna be up to mainly today. I am gonna start by sorting this mess out. So. I will snap back to you in a bizzle. Well, that's the first part done. Uh, all the netting is off. That took blimmin' hours. I must have put like 5,000 staples in it. All the uh, old roofing cladding is off as well. Steps are out, tools are out. Uh, got some new battens going along the top. Got one at the back there and one at the very front. And that's what the roof is going to be uh, bolted down to. They are solid as a rock up there. So that's a bonus. Yeah, I've taken a few of the tomatoes off the plant today. Well, I say a few. I've taken hundreds off the uh, tomato plant today. But it's the 28th of October. I'm in the garden absolutely sweating. It's a lovely warm day and the tomatoes are still growing. I mean, I've still got plants growing up. I mean, that plant can't be more than what? A couple of weeks old? And there's an even baby, a baby or one growing from right next to it. And that can't be more than a few days old. You know, it's absolutely crazy. 28th of October and tomatoes still growing. But yeah, I've picked a, a shed load off today. That's the roof supports up and ready to go to put these up. They just need a damn good clean um, I've got the tape screws and everything uh, good to go so that's good um, I've got a few nails and screws out of the roof there's still a couple up there that I need to go and get out with the old uh, hammer and pliers but yeah all the nets off got to neaten that up and put that away for the next project um, but yeah so just had a delivery as well so uh, let's go and check that out but yeah tomatoes crazy tomatoes here
and tomatoes here. These are the ones that I picked, uh, or the, the ones in the middle of what I picked yesterday, and then these ones on that end, and then ones on that end of what I picked this morning. So yeah, I won't be running out of tomatoes anytime soon, and they're still growing. So uh, absolutely crazy. But yeah, I uh, just had a parcel delivered, so uh, it is extremely fragile. Um, hopefully it's arrived in one piece. So I'll spin you around and show you what I got. Right. So yeah, this was delivered like 20 minutes ago, which is why I decided to uh, to get the old phone out and show you an update of where I'm up to today. I don't know what else I'm going to do for the day, because uh, as I said earlier, I've got the whole day off today. And, uh, I can't really put the roof up today, because I kind of need a hand and I need a pin, so... We'll see, see how far I get. I'm sure I'll find more jobs to do out there. There's plenty that needs doing out there. That seems to be packaged very well. Can you guess what it is yet? No, I've already said I shouldn't be saying that, shouldn't I? Anyway. Right, what have I got? I probably can actually guess what it is. I've seen photos of it, but I haven't yet seen it obviously in the flesh. So, I'm looking forward to this. Oh yeah, you really can smell the lacquer. What do you guys think of that? So obviously keeping it coy, that's my channel. My favourite fish, even though I don't really have one. Did have one, but it turned into a kahaku. And then an outside temperature thermometer. Uh, you can probably guess who it's from. This is from Mr. Koyagi. Yeah, that is really nice. He's even remembered screw holes this time. Ah. Said to him when he did my uh, plaques outside the first ones. Um, I said, there's one thing that's missing from there. He said, what? I said, screw holes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I attached this one by, uh, as you can see there, a, top, a plate at the top. It's obviously screwed into the back and then screwed into the uh, the top part and then I had removed the screw that he'd put in the coca-cola bottle sign and swapped it for a much 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 longer one so it goes now through the wood and into the post through the uh, coca-cola bottle opener thingamajigger and that one I uh, drilled a, a keyhole in it basically with the uh, drill and router made a keyhole in it and that's just hanging on a screw so uh, yeah he took my advice and put some screw holes in it bonus and that is going to live just there under that plaque so I can see what temperature it is out here now I don't know obviously if it's already adjusted, let me put you down for a second. Whether it's adjusted to the uh, to the right temperature, where are we? So we can get it to focus. But yeah, it is saying that it's about 20 degrees currently. But I'll leave that for a couple of minutes outside. Because obviously it's just been inside, and uh, we'll snap back to it. So it's been a good 15 minutes, I decided, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I've cleaned all around the edges um, of the first roofing sheet to accept some new tape. I've got the tape all ready, ready to go. 
just clean that with some uh, big wipes. I mean, they can remove any grease and silicone from your uh, from your hands um, when doing DIY. I'll get you a better view. Again, you if for those of you that have followed me for a long old time, you can see there it re literally removes everything. Paint, adhesive, PU foam, silicone, gap fill, oil and grime. They take off CT1 off your skin in seconds. And if it can remove that, I'm pretty sure it will clean this enough to uh, stick the tape down. But anyway, that's all the edges of that cleaned. But uh, let's see, you know, on the old thermometer. Look at all the fish. Oh, fishies. But yeah bring it over to you again that it has dropped a tiny bit but it hasn't gone any lower than that where is it, it is look just over 19 degrees on the 28th of October I mean is that ridiculous or what they're loving it though Ah, Benny Kikikiri, like he's proper healed up, bless him. Almost back to his old self. But yeah, these guys uh, need topping up because the uh, hose pipe's not been in here all day. I'm doing a, a very slow trickling water change on the uh, blue vat down the back there. Dumped a lot of their water this morning, about 20%. So uh, the hose pipe's down there at the minute and... Uh, you can probably tell we've now gone. <laughs> Apologies for the neighbours kids. Yeah, we've uh, now gone down below the top wheel plate on the skimmer. So uh, this will need uh, topping up about another centimetre. But uh, it's, as we'd say, because the drum's taken out and the trickling gives back. Here he is. Meow. Such a friendly chag. But yeah, so I'm going to crack on cleaning these. Um, and if I get get them done and up, then I will snap back to you and let you know. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Um, I wasn't able to get them all up that day. Um, time ran away from me. I got a few of them cleaned, but uh, yeah, let me uh, spin you around and show you what I've uh, what I've done. Uh, got the roof up now, it goes all the way along to the very very end and that is where the new pond will be built under there. So obviously the, uh, all the rain we had the other night, the uh, veg plant area um, obviously didn't get much rain anymore. Front's a bit damp but uh, yeah, the back looks as dry as a bone. So uh, yeah, I've been uh, doing some more digging and de-weeding and I've removed uh, some of the mint. So I've now got loads of pots of mint down there, got loads of strawberries, a bit, bit more of mind your own business, that's the last pot of that I've got. Loads more strawberries, a few more tomato plants growing, loads more strawberries and other bits and bobs all dug out. One in a bonsai pot because not but yeah still getting tomatoes growing um, it's the weekend after Halloween now or oh, it's it's just past the weekend after Halloween now we're on Monday uh, so yeah but yeah roofs up roofs looking good solid as a rock that will do the job nicely keep, I've not taped it yet um, yeah, they're cleaned up quite well other than there's some sticky residue uh, I thought it was lime scale, so I got the lime scale remover out, but it's not. I think it's where they were glued or taped down to whatever conservatory thing they've come off of, because they've all got it in, in literally exactly the same uh, same place. But yeah, they'll work. Thank you very, very much, AD. They're from uh, Aid the Koi Keeper. If you haven't seen his channel, get over and check him out. He's got a lovely pond lovely pond it's an absolute freezing day today considering when i was putting that up over the weekend it was absolutely boiling um, but yeah it's uh, now a very cold day everything's looking good everywhere else today 
have a look at the pond tent as it's really cold. It's been holding 14 degrees for the last few days. Really today. We're still at 14 degrees considering how cold it is. Let me spin it around. Can you see that down there? Look, 14 degrees still. We're in no November. Is it November? No, it's Halloween, isn't it? Monday. Yeah. One more day, then we're in November, and the pond's still at 14 degrees. And it certainly weren't that like that last year. All right, let's have a quick look at the fry before we get them all fed. Yep, they're all happy in there, flowing well. I don't know what temperature this one's at today, so I will have to get the old thermometer out. But yeah, yeah. Get them fed, um, and then that's about it. So, uh, yeah, not a very long video today, but just showing you that I've got my pergola roof up here, ready for when the new pond gets built where they are because moving all them probably won't keep them all. The veg tray pots, things, no idea what they are. The, the boxes, I mean. Um, but yeah, let's see if the koi want some food. They look like they're hungry. If I can get into the box. If you can hear the wind, it's a lot breezier today than it was when I started the uh, roof project. But yeah, much colder day today. Mm. Well, they're enjoying their food. So, on that note, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, I hope I've earned your subscription today. And we will catch you all on the next one.